Hello everybody, this is a video review on the Oziri 360 Oscillation Tower Fan with Micro Blade Noise Reduction Technology. Now, I have everything here left in the box just so I can kind of do an unboxing here for you. And I'll go through and do all of the different uh, specifications and uh, things that this actually does. Uh, I've actually been waiting for this to come in the mail for uh, it's ever, pretty much ever since I, we ordered it. And uh, yeah, I definitely can't wait to try this out. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I kind of cheated a little. I opened the box just so that way it would be easier, so that way I don't have to pull out a, a knife and try to finagle that while holding the camera. So, that being said, this fell out of the box. And this looks like it's half of the stand. Yep, that's half the stand. Here's the other half. Looks like setup's going to be real easy, which is always a nice thing because there's nothing worse than having something that's complicated to put together when you're just trying to cool yourself off. Give me one second here. in the camera Just a remote there we go okay so I am actually rather impressed everything is kept very nicely all wrapped up so you know you're getting a new product in the box bottom here looks like it's gonna go together relatively easy and with almost no tools at all in a second here remote with the included battery and it takes a 2032 CR2032 all right so we're going to go ahead and unscrew these screws here Looks like this one goes to the back. It has two screw holes. All right, so we got the bottom attached. Again, you just need to finger tighten those screws there on the bottom. And everything lines up. Now, when you're putting the stand together, make sure that you put it together with the cord coming through the hole first. Because otherwise, you're going to end up having to finagle it around and taking the stand apart to put it back together again. A nice feature on this though too is they actually leave a hole here on the bottom for your cord. So you can actually run your cord up into this so that way it just locks into there and it's not going to move anywhere. So that way everything stays nice and neat. And they even took precaution and put an extra piece of uh, protective plastic over that cord. Just so that way while you have it on the floor or anything, it's not going to get too much rubbing. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And I'll be right back with you. Alrighty guys, just before I go ahead and plug this in, I wanted to show you that this plug actually has its own fuse built right into it. And it's actually very easy to get to. You flip that open, uh, almost kind of like uh, the, the Christmas lights that you uh, 
you know set up every year outside uh it has that same type of a fuse right in there it's very easy to get to so that way if the fan all of a sudden stops working check the fuse and uh that's probably going to be your fix all right there so i also want to show you real quick how to actually install the battery on this now this is the actual holder and it just kind of slides right in there and it comes with it already in there and all you have to do is push the tab down and pull out at the same time that will then be able to allow you to uh, get the t the uh, button battery clip out and then all you do you just put your battery in there set it down face down just like that again because you see the the edges there and the battery's kind of got its own little edge you put it right in there right face down and then you just slip it right back in you follow the contours of the actual remote and that'll actually tell you uh, if you're going in the correct way so now the remote is powered and ready to go so I'll be back I'm gonna get this plugged in and we're gonna test it out alrighty everybody so I got the fan all plugged in it's all ready to go and as soon as I plugged it in it actually is showing a temperature read of how warm, um, surprisingly, it is in uh, my current house. So as it shows on there, it has a temperature of 79 degrees Fahrenheit. And some of the features that this have on it, it it's actually really nice. Uh, you have a fan speed control. So you can actually go from slow, medium to high. And that will actually display right up here. Let me see here. Let me go ahead and turn it on. Oh, wow. On low, that's got a pretty good... Uh, hopefully that's not blowing on the microphone. <laughs> so on low, it's got a pretty good feel to it. It's actually nice and cool. And then I can turn it up just by hitting this button right here, which matches kind of what's on the display. like this okay so this little icon right here that mode is actually a normal mode and what that allows is it's just gonna be like a normal everyday fan now there's also a nature mode and all you have to do is hit your mode button right here on your controller and it'll go through and it'll set a speed for nature So it's kind of like you'd be outside and the wind's blowing and and it's actually oscillating. It's kind of going up and down in terms of its speed. So that's really neat. And then the next mode would be your sleep mode. So if any, you're like me, uh, I like to have the fan on when I sleep. So having a fan on full blast all night works perfectly for me. However, this here... It, it kind of has its own mode, so it's it kind of moves up and down at a steady pace, so it makes it more comfortable for you while you're sleeping. Now, all the controls are also up here on the top of the fan, so you don't have to use the controller if you don't have it handy. Now, there's also a auto mode. Or auto lock. And what that'll do is that actually sets the uh, the temperature lock on there. All right, guys. So you can set a timer on this, and what this does is it will actually set in 30 minute increments. So 0 0.5 is 30 minutes, one hour, hour 50, you know, 30 minutes, so on and so forth, all the way up to eight hours. So you can literally have this set for an eight hour time period and have it shut off the you know the moment it is it has hit that time on the actual timer also the uh auto mode the auto lock is for your temperature gauge here when you turn this on if it is at um if you so have it to have it that way if this is at like it is now 80 degrees and you don't want it to get colder than that then the fan will actually automatically turn off so if you have an ac running in your home 
and you get home from work and the AC had been off all day and you want to go to bed, you can turn this on, go to sleep with it, set the auto mode, and what it'll do is as soon as this temperature drops below the temperature that it's at when you turn it on, it'll actually automatically turn it right off. So another really good feature for this to have. You have your oscillating capability, which you actually can ch uh, change this. This will go from uh, 60 to 90 to 120 to 360 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and hit it once. And that's going to be the sixty degree, and it actually says it right up here on top. If I hit it again, it's going to go to the ninety, one twenty, and then three sixty. So we're going to let it kind of go all the way around. Mind the random cat hair. So while we're on the back here, you actually have a handle, which makes it easier to grab and move it around. The fan itself, it's drawing the air in through the back and pushing it out through the front. And like I said before, it's actually quite powerful. So uh, um, I really like the fact that this has quite a bit of uh, power to it. And as you can see, it went all the way around. Turn the oscillation off. And then dimming. Now the dimming is taking care of the light here, and it's just going to give you the uh, whatever mode that you might be on. So again, on and off. So basically, your light situation. I'm going to go ahead and turn this. Well, we're going to oscillate it real quick. So that way it turns to the back. And I will show you how you can open this up from the back to be able to clean it. And it's real easy to clean. All you're going to have to do is just kind of wipe the blades down with a damp cloth while it's unplugged. And uh, put it back together and it's, it's, it's relatively simple. Alright, so the intake here on the back. Turn that off. This grate on the back here actually comes off. There's a little tab down here and a screw. And what you do is you'll undo that screw and then this whole bracket right here is just going to come right off and then you can go in here and you just wipe the fans down or the blades down so that way uh, you're not getting any dust. You know, because after a while, cat hair, if you have animals, uh, dust, stuff like that, that all builds up on these uh, on, on any fan. So no fan is really immune to that. So they make it really easy to get to. Overall, I really like this fan. It has a lot of power for me, which is perfect. I currently have a stand fan that is powerful, but it's kind of limited with what it can do. There's no remote for it, so if... You know, I'm freezing my buns off in the middle of the night. I have to get out of bed, and that's not going to happen because I'm already cold. So I can just kind of use the remote here, which, by the way, you can store in the back, and uh, turn it off or lower it down or whatever I need to do. Anyway, guys, you can find this over in Amazon. I will provide the link down below in the description. Definitely subscribe to the channel because the more subscriptions we get, the more items we can actually review for you. So go on and check it out. It's in the buy box. Go and get one for yourself. Oh, it's a really good price, by the way. Uh, I've seen these run for a couple hundred dollars. Uh, this one's under the $100 marker, so definitely worth getting.